CS Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. Politics in Kenya is getting more lively and more interesting each passing day. And in the remaining four or five days, we are most likely going to see very interesting political scenarios unfolding before our own eyes. So in this video, I want us to have a look at a story. A story on Cleophas Malala's stepmother who quit Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance for Azimio. For the story is going to give us an insight on exactly what might be happening in Western Kenya, in the Mulembe Nation. Before we do that, in case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes, today the Azimio Brigade, led by Raila Molo Odinga, were at Bukumbu Stadium in Kakamega County for a political rally. And then in a surprising turn of events, Cleophas Malala's stepmother announced that she was dumping Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance for Azimio. And she also announced that she was now fully supporting Raila Molo Odinga for the presidency and Fernandez Baraza for the gubernatorial seat in Kakamega. And we know that <coughs> Cleophas Malala is also gunning for that seat of a governor. So Cleophas Malala's stepmother actually prefers supporting Fernandez Baraza, not Cleophas Malala. And that's a story that has also been captured uh, by almost all mainstream media. And this is what the star had to say about the story. The star Kenya. Malala's stepmother ditches Kenya Kwanzaa endorses Raila and Baraza. If you go through the story, Kakamega County Senator Cleophas Malala's stepmother has ditched Kenya Kwanzaa for Azimio. Jacqueline Okanya announced her support for Raila Odinga's bid during an Azimio rally at Bukungu Stadium on Wednesday. Nimetoka Kenya Kwanzaa, nimekuja Azimio kusaidia baba na maka. Nimekuja kusaidia gavana wangu baraza na savula ili Kenya yetu iweze kwenda mbele. She, she said. So it's indeed true that Cleophas Malala's mother dumped Kenya Kwanza for Azimio. What does that mean politically? That's what I want us to find out. If you look at exactly the meaning of that, and then we compare it with the non-political situation in Western, it's a fact that Raila Odinga and Azimio, Raila is the dominant candidate in Western Kenya. A good majority of Western residents prefer voting for Raila Odinga. And then if you look at Azimio, Azimio as a coalition is also the most preferred coalition in Western Kenya. So the first thing that might have made Cleophas Malala's stepmother to actually dump Kenya Kwanzaa for Azimio is the ground. The ground in Western is pro Raila Odinga, pro Azimio. So that's the first reason that might have made Malala's mother dump Kenya Kwanzaa for Azimio. And that just goes on to tell us that it will take William Ruto and his team a miracle to actually win the Mulembe vote. In fact, now it's, it's now not even debatable. Raila Odinga is going to give William Ruto most likely a humiliating defeat in Western. And I'm saying that because you can now see William Ruto's hopes, or rather, Kenya Kwanzaa's hope in Western was Cleophas Malala. That's the person who was actually being seen as their spokesman, spokesperson, or rather spokesman, Cleophas Malala. But now you can see 
that even in Cleophas Malala's own family, hmm, Cleophas Malala's own family, already we have one vote for Raila Odinga, not for William Ruto. That's an indication Western is predominantly Raila Mulo Odinga. Secondly, I tend to believe Cleophas Malala's stepmother is also maybe just trying to be, be realistic to use wisdom. Because if you look at Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and then you look at Azimio, chances of Azimio forming the next government are very high compared to Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance forming government. Chances of Azimio forming government are very high compared to Kenya Kwanzaa forming the government. So Cleophas Malala's stepmother is just trying to use some wisdom here. She has already seen that in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, most likely, if she continues supporting that kind of a political outfit, she's going to end up in the bush. But if she supports as a new team, she might find us a soft landing spot in an Azimio government. That's also something I'm seeing here. That's what we call wisdom. Cleophas Malala's stepmother has actually looked at the bigger picture. Something maybe Malala himself might have not seen. And that also just goes on to prove that with, without being emotional about politics, chances are high that Raila Odinga is going to form government and not William Ruto. From that incident, again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm seeing a Cleophas Malala who cannot unite his family. I'm seeing a Cleophas Malala who has failed leadership even in his own family. If he cannot bring his people together, his own family together, how will he unite or bring residents of Kakamega together? That's an indication that Cleophas Malala has been tested as a leader, but he has been found to be wanting. He is not fit for leadership. He is still young. He is not fit. From that story again, I'm seeing some squabbles in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. I'm seeing some squabbles in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Because Cleophas Malala's stepmother is actually a contestant for Mumia's West parliamentary seat. And some few weeks back, we are getting some rumors that she was prevailed upon to step down for Rashid Echesa. So it seems to appear again from that story that maybe they never actually agreed. <laughs> they never agreed. So the question begs. We have, we have been seeing William Ruto actually bringing some leaders or rather convincing some leaders to step down for other leaders. In fact, Boni Aluale was prevailed upon. Whether it was, it was prevailed or not, or whether he just took a clever maybe retreat for fear of Baraza, that's a story for another day. We have been seeing William Ruto prevailing upon leaders, some leaders, to actually step down from others in Western. How comes that Cleophas Malala cannot prevail upon maybe Rashid Echesa or now the stepmother to step down for one, for maybe each, either Baraza's Cleophas Malala stepmom stepping down for Echesa or Echesa stepping down for this stepmother. The mere fact that <laughs> for the mere fact that Bar Ninin, Cleophas Malala has failed to achieve that mission while all along we have been seeing them convincing other leaders to step down for others, that's an indication that maybe things might not be all that good also in Cleophas Malala's family. They might also be having some family issues again. That can also explain that 
And in one way or the other, it can also explain some kind of hypocrisy in William Ruto's camp. Why convince others, but now in Cleophas Malala's own family, Ruto cannot maybe convince the stepmother to step, step down. And as I conclude, that's also a confirmation, a very good confirmation that Cleophas Malala is a weak candidate for Kakamega gubernatorial seat. Most likely, Cleophas Malala will not be able to win that seat of Kakamega governor. And that's why the mother has actually run away from Cleophas Malala. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. In case you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana.